Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Log Cabin Throw. This is a beautiful, heavy, squishy crochet blanket that has worked in a super bulky weight yarn and it's made up of 30 of these spiral crochet motifs that are then crocheted together and then with a soup simple edging. The finished blanket measures approximately 50 by 60 inches. For the pattern today and in the video I'm going to be using the Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn by Lion Brand. I have purchased it in the bonus bundle which is 212 yards and you're going to need seven of uh, balls of the Woolies Thick and Quick bonus bundles to complete the blanket to this size. You're also going to need a crochet stitch marker. Let me just set up my camera there again. Uh, crochet stitch marker, as well as a 10 millimeter crochet hook, and as well a copy of the free written pattern from my blog at richtexturescrochet.com to follow along. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So as I mentioned, our design today is worked by making 30 different, uh, 30 squares and then crocheting them together. So we're going to start, I'll show you how to work the first square here. We're going to make a slip knot and the square is worked in rounds. You're going to begin by chaining two. Next into the second chain from your hook, you're going to work six half double crochet stitches. We are going to be working in continuous rounds, which means you will not join at the end of each round. Instead, we're going to be using our stitch marker to mark our first stitch as we come around. For round two, so we do not turn, do not join. For round two, we're going to work two half double crochets in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So right now I'm looking at the front of my stitches. If I turn them over and look at the back, you see this top loop that you usually work under and then just below it you see this third loop we call it. It's the loop that just lies just below that top back loop. So yarn over and then you're going to pull your work forward so you can see that back loop. Insert your hook under that third loop only yarn over and drop a loop and you want two stitches in each stitch all the way around. Remembering to mark your first stitch and at the end of this round you're going to have a total of 12 half double crochet stitches. Once you come around to your first stitch, do not turn and do not join. Now for round three, we're going to work in the third loop again and we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch. Mark your stitch and then work two half double crochets into the next. We're going to repeat that one half double crochet in the next stitch followed by two half double crochets in the next. Repeat that all the way around until you come back to your stitch marker and then once you come to your stitch marker you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four 
half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, working in the third loop of each stitch around, and then work two half double crochets into the next stitch. We're going to repeat that, work one half double crochet in the third loop of each of the next two stitches, and then two half double crochets in the third loop of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 24 stitches. For round six, you're going to working, be working again in the third loop, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then work two half double crochets in the next stitch, again working in the third loop. Repeat that all the way around, one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, followed by two half double crochets in the next stitch, all the way around until you come to your stitch marker, and at the end of this round, you will have a total of 36 half double crochet stitches. At the end of your round six, you can re remove your stitch marker and you're going to join under both loops with a slip stitch. We're now set for round seven. For round seven, we're going to chain one, and now working under both loops and the tops of our stitches, you're going to single crochet into each of the next six stitches. half double crochet into your next stitch and into your next stitch which is going to form your corner you're going to work two half double crochets all into the same or two double crochets sorry all into the same stitch one triple stitch into the same stitch and two more double crochet stitches all into the same stitch So that's going to form your square corner. You're then going to half double crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. one half double crochet into the next stitch into your next stitch which which will become your corner you're going to work two double crochets one triple stitch and two more double crochet stitches all into that same stitch half double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that all the way around. 
When you come all the way around at the end of round seven, we're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. That brings you to the end of round seven. We have one final round in our square. We're going to chain one, single crochet into each stitch all the way across to your triple stitch. When you come across to your triple stitch, you're going to work three single crochets all into that same stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way around one single crochet into each stitch all the way across to that triple stitch and work three single crochets then into the triple, which is your corner and uh, repeat. When you come around to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You can then fasten off and weave in your ends. You are then going to make a total of 30 of these squares. Once you have made 30, come back here and I'll show you how to join them together and uh, work our final edging. Once you have your 30 squares worked, you're then going to lay them out so that you have five across the bottom by six up along the side. So you want to lay them out so that you have uh, a rectangle, five by six. We're then going to, with the right sides facing, join our squares together. When you join them together, you're going to be working through both thicknesses and through the corresponding loops and the back loop only. So I'm going to start and just join your square working in the back loop only of the first one and the corresponding back loop only of the same square on the other side. Join your yarn with a slip stitch And you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across, always working in the back loops only of each side. So under the back loop only of the first, back loop only of the second, slip stitch. You're going to do this all the way across when you come to the end of your first two squares. You're going to keep going, join the next two all the way across until you have your five or six joined, fasten off, and repeat for all the seams of your blanket. So you can go ahead and do that, join all of your squares together using this slip stitch flat join method. You may also, if you have another method that you prefer or if you would rather sew them together, you can do that as well, but go ahead sew your squares, crochet your squares together, and then meet me back here. Once you have joined all of your squares together, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, or if you'd like, we're going to work an edging, so I've just left my yarn attached. You're going to chain one. Okay, so you're now working, you have one big blanket made of 30 squares. We're now going to add an edging around our blanket. To add your edging, you're going to begin round one by working a half double crochet into each stitch and each seam all the way around. So I've worked my first half double crochet just sort of in the seam here and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around the edge of your blanket. When you come to the corner, as I am going to do here in just a moment, I'll keep going all the way around.
when you come to your corner stitch, so to that set of three single crochet stitches, and then you have your middle single crochet, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches into that middle stitch. So there's one, two, and three, and that's going to bring you around so that you can work along the next side of your blanket. So half double crochet into each stitch and each seam all the way around working three half double crochets into your corner stitch. Join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and meet me back here. Once you come around uh, all the way around on round one, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to chain one, do not turn. You have one final round to work on the edging of your blanket. What you're going to do is simply half double crochet into that third loop of each stitch all the way around. When you come to your corner stitches, work three half double crochets in the third loop of each corner stitch and uh, continue until you come back to your first stitch. When you return to your first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into that stitch, fasten off, weave in your ends, and your log cabin throw is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time for another great free crochet pattern. Thank you so much. See you next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.